Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the race meeting at the Vol Classic Tuesday, the 2nd of January. Well, it continues to rain here in KwaZulu Natal, and uh, we'll be out of here early tomorrow morning. So I'll do the preview for tomorrow, tomorrow's race meeting tonight before I leave. 22 pin chromata today, 3 meter false rail at the 600 meter mark, and race one of the eight race program off at 12.35. Maiden plate, 1,000 metres, race one, and you can't look past Star Solo, number eight, uh, the Tony Peter run over gets Jason Gates. It is second run after arrest, which is uh, always a concern, but it's got two very nice runs and really doesn't doesn't look like there's anything that could beat it in this race. Uh, chances to see Shanti, Fatum, Fluffy, and champ, Jumping Analia. Race two, this is a maiden plate, fillies and mares, 1,000 metres, and I'm going strongly with number three, Winter Path, third run after a race, good form, looks absolutely ready, Cabela gets a chance for the Sean Terry outfit, and I like a couple of his runners today, but if you look at the long Lovegrass uh, run, uh, certainly holds smashing on that form, and there's no reason why it shouldn't hold it again, although smashing three to one, um, second favourite, um, JJ's Eagle improved last run. That ran behind Sahara Dawn. And Bloop Bloop, Bloop also ran behind Sahara Dawn. But I do think that the, the Lovegrass form might turn out better at the time. Certainly are better. Race 3. Merit rated fillies and mares. 1,800 metres. Well, my find of the race is number 3, Rose Tinted. This filly's been dying to go this trip. Um, she's been running on. and She gets muzzy. She gets a lot going in her favour in a race like this. Chances to 4, Rosie Lemon. Two pretty and pearls, one three strands, and eight little Miss Sunshine. They look like the ones even a princess as a rear might improve. But I'm going with uh, each way with three rose tinted quite strongly. And we found a good one yesterday just to mention that uh, fabulous. Uh, that ended up coming home lonely. I'm sorry that the race co the racing meet wasn't completed because they had a couple of nice doubles going. Race four. Merit rated handicap, 1,800 metres, three-cornered contents, three, uh, Fushimi Inari looks to be my first choice, but not strongly. Um, I do like a seven, Copper John. I think that he ran a couple of good post-maiden runs, and his last run was pretty good behind his stable companion, where he ran on strongly. So Copper John going the right type of trip, and I think he'll go really well here. And the other one is nine, Godfather. He's always running on this horse. I always put him into everything. Little Prince run one well, got a three-point penalty. He goes in as well. Uh, Coromandel gets blinkers. That might improve him. Have a close look at him with a decent rider on. Uh, so you, there's a number of horses that have got chances here. I'd go a bit wide. Race five, um, Merry rated fillies and mares, 1450. I'm going strongly with the one, Duena. Uh, the Stuart Pettigrew runner got very good form. Gets Calvin, draw one's a huge plus. I think it's going to be very difficult to beat. Uh, bad hair day strikes me as a bit of a roughie. I've been following this filly. Um, she unfortunately ran fifth two runs ago when we went for big quartets with her. Uh, but she she's always there or thereabouts or 52 kilos. She might be dangerous. She gets um, eight and a half kilos from uh, the favourite, which I like. Mia Fore, not bad run last time. Try me. Look for this one to improve. Come tumbling down the merry rating. Started at 83. In three runs, come down to 76. Has so lost seven points. Maybe improve it. Uh, won well first time out. Race six, uh, merry rated 1450. I'm going with uh, six to one shot. Number six, efficient trader. Race six, number six, six to one. All the sixes. Sounds good to me could be the right answer. So my nice each way chance here as well. Duke of Rock got two points for his last run. We ran second. That's um, a bit harsh. Uh, JP2000 looks better on the poly. Warhawk Bomber won a maiden. Uh, there's, a, there's lots of sort of uh, muddling form. And then our old friend Anytime Champ. Drawn one goes into all the play. Don't leave him out. Race seven. Merit rated fillies and mares. They got 1,200 metres. Um, probably the hardest race on the card. Uh, my first choice is uh, nine, Alicia's Love. But I very seldom tip a horse this one, just won a maiden. But she seemed well rated off 79, and uh, she won her maiden extremely easily, this filly. And she could be useful. I've always thought that she just needed a bit of time to mature. So she's my top choice here. 
four wins with me. He's got a chance of draw one. And then uh, Woman of Fame, nine to two. I don't see much value in that one, although it could be there or thereabouts. And Jasiri, number two. Run three times, slow every time, runs on. Uh, draw four, you don't want to be slow off draw four, so it will be interesting to see how Gavin Arena gets a tune out of this one. Race eight, mirror rated handicap, uh, 1,200 meters. My top choice and strong top choice is two fully loaded. Um, he got three points uh, for running second last time, which is harsh, but he might be able to put a field like this away. There's not much in this race at all. The danger could be number 12, Cerulean Dancer. Uh, didn't run badly its last two starts. I think it will be there or thereabouts. Jet Cat, not too far off them, but draw 13 is a huge concern. Twice the Storm, uh, Terry Zaki. Have a close look at that one as well. So, from me, James Goodman, uh, and the whole Interbet team, hope you have a great day's racing at the Vault.